There are still 12 days of competition to come in Sochi, and so far Canadian athletes have dominated the podium. Canadians have had the best start ever at an Olympic Games, and some of our strongest sports are still to come. Eric Sorensen is in Sochi tonight with more on Canadians owning the podium. Eric? Donna, for just a brief time today, Canada, with nine medals, led all other countries at the Olympics by two. Tonight, Norway slipped back in front. But with nine medals in four days, this is, by all accounts, the best start to the Olympics for Canada ever. Well done. Things were hopping again tonight at Canada Olympic House. The parade of medal winners has become a nightly affair. Charles Hamelin was honored today with his gold medal in short track speed skating. Watching a replay of the race, Hamelin was teary-eyed. When I cross the finish line and those emotions come back and it just super big and I'm, I'm emotional. The scary thing for other countries, some of Canada's best sports are still to come. Like curling, just underway, Brad Jacobs leads the Canadian men's team, which has won the last two gold medals. And of course, hockey. The women have won the last three gold medals and have won both their preliminary games so far in Sochi. And the men are here now and practicing. They may be NHL stars who play for big contracts, but they seem humbled to play for their country. You know, it's just a, an honor, a privilege to, to put on that Maple Leaf jersey and, and represent your country. And... and if you think the pressure to win is a burden, consider the weight on the Russian hockey players. The entire team, almost 30 players and coaches, came before the Olympic media today. I participated in four different Olympic Games. Russian legend Vladislav Tretyak says he's never seen such interest, and that's saying something in hockey-crazed Russia. Four years ago, the Canadian team felt enormous pressure. For Captain Alex Ovechkin, Sochi represents a nerve-wracking opportunity to do what Canada did in Vancouver, with the world watching. Who's uh, hosted uh, host Olympic Games uh, probably have most pressure, and I'm pretty sure uh, we're in the same position like uh, Canada was uh, four years ago. Men's hockey represents just one medal, maybe the biggest one, but for Olympic officials, success is measured in total numbers. And four days with nine medals is backing up those predictions of big things. They're amazing, right? But still, you know, they're doing what we would hope to do. The statistics are good. Is it all about winning for Canada? It is not. Today, a Russian cross-country skier broke his ski during a race. He struggled to keep going on one ski, with no chance of winning, just persevering. Just then, a Canadian ski coach, Justin Wadsworth, jumped onto the course and gave him a new ski, just so the Russian could finish the race in front of the Russian crowd. That's the Olympic spirit and the Canadian spirit. Donna?